Welcome to Six Intervale Road in Sudbury, Mass. This is a three bedroom, two full bath, split entry level home, ideally sited on almost three quarters of an acre of land. When we go inside, we'll see a number of updates that this family has made to this home, and they've done a considerable amount of work on the yard in terms of clearing brush, replacing fences, adding some landscaping. So let's start by going inside. So you see some level of detail in the decor, wainscoting, beadboard, oak treads along the staircase. The kitchen has been recently updated with granite countertops, new sink, new faucet, white painted cabinets, a stainless steel appliance package. You see some overhead track lighting. You notice that there's a nice white tile backsplash and a newer tile floor. In addition, we have some built-in cabinetry and bookshelves, and there is enough space for a small table in the kitchen. Here in the dining area, you'll notice that it's really light and bright. That set of windows there really does add a lot of natural light into the dining area and there is a doorway that exits off to the deck. The living room has a working fireplace, a nice size bay window. And as you can see, an archway into the dining room. There is wood flooring throughout this level, except for the kitchen and the bathroom. This is the first of the two full baths. The tile on the floor and the tile on the wall are in very good shape for this 1964 home. We have glamour lighting. Exhaust fan to the roof. Again, the tile is in very good shape. It's a nice neutral color. We have a cast iron tub, modern controls and a modern shower head. There is a linen closet in the bathroom and just outside the bathroom door. As we go down the corridor, we'll go into the first of the three bedrooms. This is the smaller bedroom. It's just about 11 by nine. Hardwood floors have been recently refinished. All of the ceilings in these rooms are seven and a half feet tall. Each of the three bedrooms have full closets. There's textured ceilings throughout the first floor. We have contemporary lighting. As we go into the second bedroom, this bedroom is 14 by 10. Again, light and bright. Full-size closet, hardwood flooring. And here is the master bedroom. That's actually a king size bed and it fits nicely with nice stands. In a moment you'll see that there is wood flooring here and this really even with a bed that size, it really is a nice size room. It's just about 15 feet by 11 feet. Throughout the house you'll see that the walls are freshly painted, the trim is freshly painted, doors are freshly painted. Just overall a nice new feel to this home. As we come down the corridor we see that nice fireplace again, a living room area. We'll head down the oak tread stairs. Again you see that wainscoting and beadboard. Just a lot of nice kind of pottery barn details to this house. As we go down to the mudroom area, to the left is the entrance from the garage. So this is the perfect place to take your shoes and boots off, hang your coats. And spend some time in the family room. Before we head into the family room, we'll go to the left here. This is the three-quarter bath. Again, the tile is in very good shape. 
if painted using contemporary colors. There is a closet. This is a fiberglass surround. Heat lamp, an exhaust fan to the roof, pedestal sink. This is an office that was built in the back half of one of the garage bays. So although the house appears to have two car garage, it has a full size bay and a half bay, about the size to fit an electric vehicle. So as we come into the family room, see that there is a wet bar. Throughout this area we have ceramic tile flooring. And some nice replacement windows. Enough room, and room for a wine cooler. And there's your sink. You've got some nice mirrored cabinets or glassware and such. And now we'll take a look at the family room itself. Again, light and bright with a big picture window. We've got a nice wood fireplace. This family has used the fireplace on the upper level. They had not used the fireplace on this lower level. Built-in bookshelves. There's a little storage area behind the couch there. We have recessed lighting. This home is heated by forced hot air. It is a gas furnace system. There's also central air and of course the fireplaces. As we round the corner here, we'll enter into the laundry and utility room. The furnace is dated 2006. The water heater is dated 2004. And there is 200 amp electric service. You have a newer washer and dryer. You have a utility sink, a very attractive tile floor, some built in cabinets, and access to the exterior. So, this is a walkout lower level. Very cozy. And there's the office. Again, that's the access to the garage. And as we come up to the foyer, I thought it might be worth spending some time outdoors. So in the listing, it does mention that the previous owner installed a garage bee dry system. Evidently, there had been some water intrusion into the garage um, for past owners. There's the drain as part of the be dry system. Now this part of the yard had been full of brush when this family purchased the home. So they've spent a lot of time clearing this yard and leveling the yard. They installed that brand new fence. They did some maintenance on the deck. It is recently painted. The playset does come with the house. But as you can see, lots of good area for kind of family fun activity. The fence does have a double door opening, so um, large vehicles or even a boat could be pulled back into the backyard here. That is the door entering into that laundry and utility room. I think of this deck as kind of a Colorado style two level deck where you have dining on one level and cooking on the other. 
There is a gutter system on this home. Again, this home is ideally located right on the corner of Hudson Road and Intervale Road in Sudbury, very close to Willis Pond, Haskell Field, Fairbank Community Center, and Atkinson Pool. You're very close by to the Assabet River National Wildlife Refuge, conservation land. So thanks very much for joining me today. I hope you have an opportunity to come see the home at one of our open houses.